Okay, welcome back everybody to Avid Max Fly Tying Tuesday. Brady here with you today. We got a little crappie jig in the vise today. Great little warm water bug for crappies, for bass, for panfish. Uh, really a whole world of species. Well eat this fly. Great little freshwater attractor. So. Get my bead onto the hook here. And then we can lock it in and start tying. So nice little jig hook from Core. Uh, it's a barbless jig hook. And it's a nice stout wire. It's got a good point on there. Good option. And then the thread that I'm gonna be using today is just a little bit of fluorescent chartreuse UTC. And that bead is just a painted chartreuse slotted tungsten bead. So we'll get our thread going. And just walk it on back, coating our shank to where that barb's hanging out. And then the first thing we're gonna tie in is our tail, which is a good old marabou tail. So it's kind of a bugger variation, really. Very simple fly. One that you can sit down at the vise and crank a whole bunch out, do some different colors. Chartreuse is probably the go-to, but then white with some red on it can be really good. Uh, you know, you can go with some darker colors, have some black options. We find our measurement there. Want it to be a little bit long, but not overly crazy. So we'll use that hook shank to sort of measure out. We can transfer that length to the back and then come in and secure it in place. So we'll throw down a couple of wraps on it, a locking wrap forward. Watch out for that hook point. And then we can wrap forward on it using it to help sort of build up that underbody and then also just to help with that consistency we'll clip out the excess clean up over top of it just a little bit and then we're going to add a little bit of flash some pop to the fly something that might trigger or bring the fish on in and that'll be a little bit of crystal flash and olive today of using the crystal flash so i got two strands here i'll just keep them married up and the same length or similar lengths anyways so two strands out the back on either side i'll tie it on on the side closest to me first with a couple of securing wraps it's not migrating over the top like it was trying to do there and then I do take the front section and go over as I walk back and we can position that down right on the other side there mirror it and then trim out the rest and then the next material we're tying in is some chenille this is a hairline chenille it's newly added to Avid Max Lots of great colors uh, and a few different gauges to it. This is the medium and fluorescent green here. And I'm going to clear out a little bit of that velvety stuff out so I have a nice bare fine point to utilize that'll avoid unnecessary bulk underneath. And we'll get that going so that it's sitting right in front of the tail. And then we can walk that forward. Try to actually capture it all there. And on up to behind the bead. And I'm gonna leave that chenille kind of hanging out for a second. And I'm gonna work to just secure this bead a little bit. So building up a little bit of a thread base underneath, making sure that bead is set where I want it. When you're working with these beads, typically you want the larger gape to be up top. You want that to be seated sort of up top so that it's nice and forward on that hook for you. And once it's in place, not moving, then we can bring our chenille forward. So 
We'll hang our thread on our barbon cradle there. You could do this hand over hand if you don't have a rotary vise. Gonna walk it forward here. Get one more wrap over top on the back there. There we go. Making just a nice little juicy grub-like body here. Right up to the bead where we can capture it. With a few securing wraps and trim out the extra. Now you could always whip finish it here. Go out and fish this fly, you will catch fish, no doubt. But I do like to add one more component. I think it adds just a little bit of movement, a little bit of maybe like pulsation. I don't know if pulsation's a word, but uh, makes it look like it's pulsing within the water. So we got some Senyo's laser dub. This is also the fluorescent chartreuse color. Going all chartreuse green today, full on. It does have some nice blue UV highlights in there. So I'll take a small bundle and then I'm gonna cart it out. So I'm just gonna pull the fibers apart and get them to be more linear and all somewhat uniform like so. Sort of trimming it down as well. I don't need them to be too long at this point. And then I do like to just sort of fan it out a little bit. I might come in and sort of feather it down also. And then I'm gonna take this bundle, set it really right on top and fold it down so that I have that middle section right where my thread is waiting for it. I got some coming out of the back. I have a little more coming out of the back, or sorry, out of the front. So you wanna sort of error forward slightly, and then we'll do a big loose wrap over top of that, maybe one or two, and then you can kind of bite into it like so. Maybe even add one more securing, and then we're gonna just massage all of those fibers that are going forward towards the rear, come up and through it, lay down a couple of locking wraps like that. And then in order to kind of get it to lay maybe a little bit more uniformly, which I do like, again, just that kind of bulk that it creates. But I do also create a dubbing noodle of the same dubbing. And then you can use that to help sort of control and manipulate the other dubbing that was tied in and I also like that it helps that transition into the bead a little bit. So from there we will whip finish it. You can add a little bit of your finishing glue, whatever you feel confident with there, zap a gap, some hard head, whatever you like. You can take a brush to this as well at this point, something like this loon brush and sort of come out some of those ones that are a little more loose get everything freed up and, and sort of buggy out the back but yeah that's all there is to a little crappie jig great little warm water fly double duty it's trout bug uh, really i don't know that there's a fish in the right circumstances that would turn this away so check out all the materials avidmax.com links in the description for you if you enjoyed the video, throw us a thumbs up. We appreciate you watching. Have a great time at the Vice.